Winning. I like winning. When you come back in the dugout, you always see the red light on. So I was like, all right, I'm just going to start staring. And nobody loves the spotlight more than this guy. What up, everybody? Welcome to Astros Fan Fest 2019. We're here at Minute Maid Park. Let's get it. How you doing? You all good? How you doing today? Doing all right? How are you, Orbit? You're launching an Instagram? Yeah. That's this. Hey, thank you. Appreciate that. Orbit, Orbit said he's gonna tag me in that photo on Instagram, make me famous. Playing Connect Four and Jenga with some fans. About to whoop their ass. I'm kidding. Let's go. I don't lose at this game. I don't lose at this game. Wow, are you calling Alex? Way comfy. I know. <laughs> I got, we got, hey, we showed up, and I, we showed up today, this morning, and now I'm getting heckled. I like it. Is that for your YouTube channel? No. You're better than Jake Paul. Hey, thank you. you Heard that, Jake? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm trying to lock it in. We're getting down to crunch time. This thing's about to crash. What up, y'all? Y'all good? Oh, yeah. Which one should I go with? Hmm? That one? That one's hard. Oh. Is that cheating? Yeah. Kind of. I got an elbow issue, so it might not look this will be my first thing signed. Since elbow surgery. I had to, yeah. two-hand play. It's okay. It's okay. I'll allow it. I told you. It was a good game. It was a pleasure playing with you. You want to go first? Sure. She said she's going to beat me. I don't know. It's never been done before. Y'all put me on this game today. I have ADD. I can't sit like this. We might have to in a second. We're gonna make it interesting, okay? I've been beaten. <laughs> nice play. Solid play by Max. Right above, right here. Yeah, no, just right third middle. Yep. Right above our, yep, right there. Right. 
Yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah. How are you? Good. Doing all right? Having a good 2019? Like the hat, bro. You got a, you got a pen? Max, did we win? Oh, yeah. Right here, Max. You have to go there. They would have won. Oh, oh, oh. No! This guy writes scouting reports against teams we're about to face. Can't win a Connect Four. Hey, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? What's up, man? Up dogs. What up, dude? Yeah. Yeah, of course, buddy. Let's do it. Let's do it. Really good. What's up, buddy? You good? How you doing? You good? You guys having some fun? Awesome, man. Hell yeah. Of course. What up, buddy? I worked out at your gym. You did? How'd it go? You get a good workout in? Nice. You're gonna be strong. Nice handshakes, guys. What's going on? How you doing? I'm you having okay. a good time at Astros Fan Fest so far? Yeah. It's going to be fun all day today. How y'all doing? Y'all doing all right? Yes, yeah, doing awesome. Doing well? Like ready you. for this season to start. Yes. I'm so ready. How you feeling, babe? Feeling good. Feeling good. Getting ready, getting ready to rock for this year. So, hoping, uh, hoping we can win another World Series. Yeah. What up? How you doing? How are you, brother? You doing alright? I'm doing great. You ready for this? Yeah. We'll just try and have some fun with it. Cool. <laughs> you know, was it part of the off-season training is getting your changing game on point? N um, no. But right now it's basically all I can do. They're uh, babying me with this elbow injury, but it's uh, it's going well. It's going well. I promise I'll be back soon. So obviously we we're sitting here with Alex Bregman and last year was a phenomenal year. Last year you led the American League with doubles, only 51. <laughs> and then you went on to hit 31 home runs to, with those 51 doubles and 103 RBIs, which is a feat that I believe only 18 other major league baseball players have ever accomplished. So a phenomenal year for Alex Bregman. And then also, which I think is a crime, that you finished fifth in MVP voting. So you need to massage some of those voters a little bit and let them know that uh, you're a little more deserving of, of a higher vote tally. How do you feel about that? Start politicking for next year. No, um, <laughs> That's part of your gig, right? Yeah. It's, uh, no, it's, it's honestly, I got, to see, I got to see firsthand in 2017 what an MVP looks like in Jose Altuve. And, Every day when we show up to the yard, he, he goes about his business the right way. And that's kind of, that's what you want in one of the leaders on your team. You want to be able to um, have a leader that, that shows up, leads by example, and um, plays as hard as he plays every single day. The guy who was playing with a broken kneecap for us last year. So when we were, when we were down the stretch at the end of last year, you had, you had Lance McCullers who needed Tommy John surgery. You had Al Altuve who had a broken kneecap. You had guys just grinding and, and playing through things with Springer with his thumb, Correa with his back. Um, so that's the kind of guys you want in your clubhouse, and this year we'll be healthy and we'll win the whole thing again. My question to you is, is baseball is unique in the sense that you can be Aaron Judge's size, about six foot seven or eight, uh, Giancarlo Stanton, and be, you know, 250-pound Adonis. 
But then, you, like you said, you had Jose Altuve at five foot six winning an MVP. You're getting MVP votes at five ten, six feet tall. Talk a little bit to some of these younger athletes that we do see out here that are dressed up in their Astros uniform. Talk about a little bit of the mentality and playing bigger than your than your actual physical stature. Yeah. So first, so first off, you have to um, whenever you fill out a height sheet. You have to give yourself at least three inches. That's what I do. <laughs> so in the program, it says I'm six foot tall. I'm really not. I'm like five nine, ish. I don't know. Um, Altuve does the same. He's really five foot one. I think he, I think that might be his life size jersey that he wears right there. But um, no, it, it uh, it's just a it, it's it's a great game. It's it's a beautiful game in the NBA. If you're not six foot nine Kevin Durant size you're I mean it's tough to tough to get the job done um in baseball you could be like you said Aaron Judge or you could be Altuve and you you're playing you're playing a game where you have to hit a round ball with a round bat we believe it's the hardest thing to do in sports so um it's uh it doesn't matter how big you are it just matters what's in here and what's in what's in your brain so. are there any predictions for 2019 for Alex Bregman? um yeah so Kind of grew up a little bit with a chip on my shoulder this year. I had them in my elbow instead of my shoulder, so I had to remove those. We, uh, I will be, I'll be, I'll be like missing a little, little bit of camp, but I'll be, I'll be, I'll be ready to, ready to go by the time games start. Um, predictions? Hmm. I don't know. Maybe we'll hit three over 300 for the first time in the big leagues this year for a high average. But this year, um, we're gonna go um, thousand OPS, 40 homers, 40 doubles, 300 and win the MVP. <laughs> um, is spring training a time where you practice your calls in the booth? Like, are you, are you like in there like 5 a.m., are you working on what you're gonna say? Like, Altuve deep to left field, like you working on that kind of stuff? Yeah, I, I'm severely disappointed that Brian McCann is not on the team because I had the McCann and Ball call. Mm -hmm. That was the one go-to that I had. Mm -hmm. The, the best the best one last year for me personally that I that I heard was I was hitting and you're like now would be a good time for a homer good spot for a homer really you're welcome boom you me up on that one. I, well no it was like uh, say that more often please because <laughs> you're good luck. I need I need to do that whatever I'm in for whatever. Any question? Like, is there anything else mm -hmm. in the Well, my, well my, my hair, it's staying brown this year. No more blonde. Um, the mustache, uh, that'll be shaved before the game, not during the game. Um, I've had a lot of low moments over the last uh, two years, so I don't like to remember. How does it feel? How does it feel to hit a home run? It feels like nothing, honestly, off the bat. It feels so good that you don't really feel it. Right, you know, yeah, it, it feels so good that you're like, well, that ball is crushed, and I didn't really feel it come off the bat. So then nowadays, like the newer generation, we like flip our bat and have a good time. You got to, man. Yeah. Shoot, I wish we could have, man. <laughs> What's your favorite part about being on the Astros? Great question. Um, winning. I like winning. <laughs> I do. Have you ever heard the song Ain't Worried About Nothing? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Um, I was just thinking I was going to move to third. I, I already knew I was moving to third. We had Altuve at second, um, MVP. Correa, future MVP, playing shortstop. So I was like, I got to find my way somewhere else. Play third, play left field, play wherever. I didn't care if I was playing, if I was on the bench, as long as I was on the team helping out somehow. But no, hey, I get that question a ton. Carlos Correa is the best shortstop in the big league. And now sends one towards the middle. Correa to Tyler. I'm, I'm pumped to be able to play with him. Um, right now, favorite baseball player in the league that's not on the Astros. I'll change uh, every everyone on my team first, and then. Um, I don't know. That's a great question. Um, I like uh, I like Trout and Betts and and Christian Yelich and those guys. I think they're really good. Um, but my favorite player would have to be Judge. 
Yeah. He's the nicest dude. He's the nicest dude in the entire big leagues. He's like a gentle giant. But like, you don't want to make him mad because he'll hit a ball 500 feet off you. My mom actually just got her car from the All-Star game like two, to, like two weeks ago. So she has three tickets now. She's been arrested <laughs> twice. And she's speeding all the time. It's not good. My dad's going, my dad's going nuts. No, but um, it was fun. The All-Star game was crazy. It was in DC. My family's from DC. Um, so getting to like play in that game where my dad was sitting on Ted Williams' lap in the Washington Senators clubhouse as a kid, being able to play in DC and then have that his name on the MVP trophy was just mind blowing for me. My dad was crying, whole deal. Um, but no, it was just like I don't know what it was. It was my first time ever playing in DC since uh, uh, ever, and my grand my grandfather had passed away uh, a few years back, and it was like I personally felt like he was like all right. 10th inning, tie game, you're gonna get this at bat. I'm gonna make sure it happens. Cause we were down, we were down by, or we were up by three. And then all of a sudden I'm thinking like, oh dang, I only got two at bats in the, I only got two at bats in the game. I was over two and I was left in the on deck circle. And then next thing you know, they hit like two homers or so, three homers, something like that. And tie up the game and I'm like, I'm gonna get a chance to hit a go ahead homer. This is gonna be fun. That's all I tried to do the whole of that. And then it happened, I don't know, it was crazy. Absolutely love Houston. This was, this was perfect, like Albuquerque, New Mexico, Baton Rouge, Louisiana, back in the middle, Houston, Texas. It's all my friends come in from Louisiana, all my family comes in from New Mexico. Uh, I get to play in front of the best fans in the game and then um, win World Series. I love it here. Give it Alex Bregman a big round of What up, what up? How are y'all? Y'all doing all right? How you doing? You doing good? Good to see you. Awesome. What up, dude? You all right? Yeah. You good? Thanks, bro. Appreciate that. Thank you. Yes. See you, boy. Yeah, of course. What up, y'all? Yeah, let's do it. What up? You want to race to the top? Ready? Set, go. Yeah. Are we on the radio right now? Good. Just another beautiful fan fest out here in uh beautiful. Just out another beautiful fan fest out here. Beautiful yeah, Houston, Texas. Oh, wow. For anybody who's wondering about your off season, dude, love the YouTube channel. Awesome, awesome way to keep up with what all you've been having going on since like the day the season ended. Breakman and the boys, we're following you guys. Yeah, so everyone's like, oh my god, you're doing so much. You're all over the place, you're all over the place, you're all over the place. I'm like, I'm, I'm not doing anything. I'm focused <laughs> on baseball 24-7. Only you as you go along. Exactly. Off. Where's he? Where's Sko at? There he is, right there. Everybody say what's up to my YouTube channel right now. You guys are on the channel. Y'all are on the channel. Um, so honestly, we just he, we vlog a little bit. Have it's it's fun. I'd rather do that than play Fortnite. Yeah. Are you taking shots at Lance McCullough right not now? Not at all. Not at all. I I play Fortnite too, but I'd rather do that than play Fortnite. Are you good? Yeah. What? Are you any good? I'm terrible. <laughs> I'm bad. Like for the amount of time that I played Fortnite. <laughs> I'm back. In the, in the YouTube channel, we're going to spin it out. Breaking in the boys, right? Yeah. Oh, there's, yeah, we're going to start doing some of that. But when the season starts, that's kind of going to slow down a little bit, and it's going to go more into a, like, 162 with Craig. So it's going to be more of like a, uh, more like documentary stuff. And then also we're going to have some, like, we, you know how we do our press conference after the game when we talk to the media? I'm going to give you an uncut five-minute version after. I'm kidding. If Reed, if Reed allows that, if Reed allows that. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Want to trade you jerseys? Yes. Do it. 
I don't know if I'm allowed. I don't know if I'm allowed to. I have to wear the white one. Come on, y'all come on, y'all come on. I gotta go, I gotta go do this little thing real quick. You're the best, you're the best player. Okay. Oh, thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank you. What's up everybody? Thank you sir, you rock brother. What's up y'all, how y'all doing? Y'all good? Y'all doing all right? What's up? That was that was that was kind of that was kind of loud. That was that was fun. That brought that brings you back to like the season when you're like getting getting hyped up to play the game. What's up, y'all? Y'all doing alright? How are you? How's it going? You having a good 2019? Um, what you, what we got right here? So I have spicy ham, roast beef, eggplant, turkey, uh, regular bacon. Um, you're making like panini? Is it like paninis? Yes, sir. Like a turkey, turkey and uh, turkey and Swiss. Turkey and Swiss. Is that cool? Yeah, of course. Even if it wasn't your birthday, you could get one. But happy birthday. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Come on. so cool. I follow your YouTube channel. Oh, you do? Thank you. You like our YouTube channel? I rocked this crazy outfit last night. I'm getting a lot of good comments about it, though. That's. How are you? Better now that I saw you. How are you? Good to see you. How are you, Grande? I'm wonderful. You? Grande is. A legend. He is. Cl oh my God! Are you kidding me? <laughs> what up? No, 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 no. Yeah. No, no. It's a special <laughs> announcement from Alex Bregg in the social media. When I walked away, I go, "What? Bregg, you can't have social media anymore." Is that the announcement? Yes, that's the announcement. <laughs> the special announcement today at three o'clock is no more social media for me. I'm not allowed. The Astros banned it. What's up, bro? You good? How's it going? How are you doing? You're doing all right? Oh, yeah. You're doing all right? Your video with the high school. Thank you so much. High school? You excited? He's really excited. You excited? High school is going to be fun, man. Thank you. How are you? You doing all right? How's it going? Good. Excited for the season to start. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. If we do if we do pictures, it's easier on my elbow yeah, right now. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. Here, let me see the phone. <laughs> here, stay right there. Stay up high. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Hey, what's up? How are you? How big a scar? It's a little swollen. This is a good fight. How are y'all doing? You doing all right? Go Tigers. Working on it. I'm feeling good. Um, the elbow is recovering. We have the best trainers and medical staff and strength coaches in all of Major League Baseball. So big thanks to them, and we're we're getting uh, we're getting healthy quick and um, trying to. They're they're kind of holding me back, so. That's a good thing. Tony, <laughs> if you could give everybody a hug in this room, would you? Yeah. He's going to crowd surf at the end of this. Oh, All right. I would pay good money for that. Now, you've got two guys up here who have an absolute blast playing the ball game, and I had a chance to talk with Alex about this earlier, and you've turned... The, the home run celebrations for the Astros have turned into pretty much viral sensations. You've seen a lot of videos. 
people giving hugs, and then the stare down challenge really <laughs> took off. <laughs> um, can you can you guys? Well, I'll get to tell you about the hugs for homers, but I want to know how the stare down started, and did you know it was going to catch on this day? Well, it started in. Boston in 2017 where I, I don't know I was just fired up just had tied the game in the eighth inning and the just stared in stared <laughs> stared into the camera and just screamed and then I was like you know what? I'm just gonna start I, every time when you hit a homer and you're coming back in the dugout you always see the red light on so I was like all right I'm just gonna start staring <laughs> so I started like mean mugging the camera first and then I'd like smirk and then do just some stupid stuff um, and then uh, it kind of caught on and um, it evolved. It went into uh, doing limbo with Tony. <laughs> Jake, was, Jake was holding them up. We did like a curling one. We did a Jamaican bobsled team. We got, we got, way, more, we got way more creative ideas coming this year. So stay tuned. I'm going to try and get Verlander involved mid-game when he's locked in pitching. See if that happens. <laughs> that would be awesome. And I had a chance to talk to Tony yesterday, and I didn't know how the hugs for Homer kind of evolved. Tell us how that evolved, and was and tell us if Evan Gaddis was actually ready for that first hug. I don't think Gaddis was ready for the first hug, but uh, kind of made him ready. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, it started in AAA. Uh, Kyle Tucker, Garrett Stubbs. We had a couple of guys. We would just. Uh, we would be like college, and we would just hug on the on the top step and get a home run, and the other teams hated it, but we, we didn't care. Uh, and then I kind of brought it, uh, once I got called up, I kind of brought it uh, to Gaddis's attention, and then I was like, let's see if we could raise some money for uh, you know, a charity and raise about six or seven grand. So I uh, went to my big bar, and uh, my, uh, my back started to hurt after I hit home runs, and I was picking Gaddis up, so I had to stop. <laughs> Yeah, that's a whole different workout regimen. Trying to pick those guys up. So. That's a great jersey over there. Which one? We beat LA. I love it. Hey, I don't. Sorry. Do what you gotta do, man. I'm sorry, but I watched the documentary on the World Series the other night, and like after Game Five, when the beat the beat LA chants were going on, I, I started like get the chills, and then like we started winning in Game Seven. I started crying. I don't cry, but I started crying. <laughs> I want to cry again. I want to cry again after we win this one. That's actually a pretty good question. I was going to ask something else. But you, were you bringing that up? You've won a world championship. You're an all-star, top five in MVP voting. Why, why are you hungry for another world championship? I'll be honest. Since we, since we won the World Series, they, we got a ring. Um, the day they gave us a ring, I put it in my closet, and I haven't looked at it because I want another one. I don't even want to look at it. And then I'll, I'll, I'll put that one on after we win the second one. And then I'll put the second one away until we'll, we get the third. But. FaceTime breaks two days ago. And he was like, what's up? Just complete naked in his shower. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, this is the first day I could shower without my cast on. So, uh, was, uh, I was excited. I was FaceTiming everybody. This <laughs> question is to Alex. How do you always get eye black on your jersey? Um, because I, I just, I don't know, man. I'm very clumsy. Um, my mom used to yell at me about it when I was growing up, when I was your age, because she was like, did you just put eye black right on your jersey, and I have to wash it out? Um, so then I just said, all right, I'll stop washing my jersey, because it's good luck, so I just kept eye black on it. But now, um, I just sweat a lot, and I try and wipe my face, and it, Houston's humid, so... <laughs> New Mexico, you got the dry air, so it's a little easier. But Houston, you're sweating all the time, so I'm like rubbing my, I'm rubbing my face, and I, sometimes I forget I have eye black, and I look like uh, I got one eye black on. They give me a hard time all the time before the games. Is your mom enjoying the Camaro, and has she gotten any speeding tickets? So, so she, uh, she sent out like this family group text that I got the other day, and she's like announcement for the family, and it had like my dad, my brother, my sister. Uh, my aunt, my uncle, my, all my cousins, grandparents, and she said, no one is to come within 10 feet of my new car. <laughs> Y'all are not allowed to touch it, look at it, do anything with it. And from what my dad has said is that she's just been going on d random drives. She loves it. And he, she's probably gotten a few tickets, but yes, she's, she's in love with it. She's a diva, so she had to wait and get like the souped up edition, so they had to like, for th six months, make the, make the thing. Ridiculous. Who's my favorite NBA player? Okay, 
I got a lot of, I got a lot of, I, I wore a Kobe Bryant jersey on one of my Instagram posts. I got a lot of, I got a lot of hate for that, okay? <laughs> you can't be wearing a Lakers jersey in Houston, Texas. Okay. I root for the, I root for the Rockets every time they play. I love James Harden. I love, I love Capella. I love Chris Paul. I love PJ Tucker. I love all of them. I root for all of them. Harden's the MVP, no doubt. Um, but I, I wore the Kobe Bryant jersey because I like his mentality, the Mamba mentality, all right? Um, but my favorite player, and I, I, I'll probably get hate for saying this as well, my favorite player, I love James Harden, but my favorite player, my favorite player is LeBron James. I just, <laughs> I love, I love, I love, I love that he opened a school. I love what he does. I, I, I just love, I, I love him. Probablemente, probablemente El Amante by Nick, El Amante by, I think it's Nicky Jam. Mami, yo me siento. Alex, I've been uh, polling some uh, ladies, and I'm asking, uh -oh. who would you rather go on a date with, Alex Bregman, and pretend Justin Verlander is not married? <laughs> Which one? And I'm, it's like 50-50. And I want, I want, I want you to make your case. <laughs> you want me to make my case of why you should go on a date with me and not JB? I mean, I mean, that, that's, that's one, but then, but, but then, but, the, but then we're like, like, like we're like, we're going on a date to Lupe Tortilla. JV's taking you to Europe to go to like, to go to like, wherever. I, 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 I'm, I'm on minimum. Anita, help me out. This for both of you. Besides winning the World Series, what was the best moment of your life? Wait, you can't come up here, and I need everyone to see this hair. Love that. It's been great. Uh, I'm gonna have to say, uh, in Jamaica, uh, marrying my wife. Oh. Mine was, um, I think, I think honestly, I think honestly when, when the, when the Astros drafted my little brother. That was one, of, that, was, that was one of them. My sister's going to be mad now. And then when my sister graduated college. Um, so, um, first, there's two things. First, what inspired you to start AB for Autism? Because I think it's super inspirational that a person like you with the platform that you have, is using it for the better good because I work with special needs kids at my school and they're the best people I've ever met. Yeah, so my, yeah. Thank you for doing that. Um, my godson, my godson was diagnosed with autism when he was three years old and um, my, they're like, the, their family and my family are really super close and um, I kind of, I kind of saw how much like he was able to benefit from, um, we got him an iPad and we got a program for him and, and he was able to start communicating and um, he was, he was, he, he really didn't, he didn't speak for four years and then he started, he, he, once he got the iPad and started doing that, he started to speak, be able to have a conversation, hold a conversation um, and I said, you know what, we need to, we need to not only, we don't need to, we need to make a difference and we need to help as many kids as we possibly can. So what my, what my charity does is we put iPads in schools and we put the programs on it on them that basically allow those kids to um, learn and communicate better. And hopefully, uh, when it's all said and done, like I said, my favorite athlete was LeBron James earlier. Hopefully, we'll open a school for um, autistic children down the road. Yeah. Thanks, guys. How are y'all? 
What's up, y'all? How y'all doing? Y'all all right? Oh, yeah. It's a workout today. What's up? How we doing? Y'all good? You doing all right? You doing all right? Good to see y'all. Oh, awesome. I'm about to, I'm, are y'all coming to this thing that I'm doing? Oh, okay. Hey, buddy. I'll see you guys in a sec. How are you, sweetie? Nice smile. What's up? How are you? How are you doing? What's up? How are you? What's up, y'all? Oh, How are you? You doing all right? Yeah. You doing all right? I miss you. you. Happy New Year. Thank you. Happy New Year to you. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. How are y'all doing? Y'all good? Hi. How are you? How's it going? How are you? How's it going? What's going on, dude? You good? What's up, man? How you doing? You doing all right? Good to see you, man. Good to see you, too. How's it going? You good? What's going on? How are you? I'm Aaron. Man, I just, I'm just making my favorite because what he got, because of his swag, his attitude, I don't know, just personality just seems like a cool, laid back dude, you know? And he likes to play video games too, so. Just <laughs> seems tight. I like the one where he tipped the cashier, 500. Tip the waiter. I like more, I, I like to see more of the umpiring in Little League games. Yeah. That, those are really cool. Um, this year right here, he's going to be MVP. Right?